All right, adventurers, we're back. I'm going to do more of the pit cross puzzles of, of Pepper's puzzles. I'm going to do more and solve this entire thing. Apparently, it's called Moonlight Warrior. This time, I'm not going to be so explanative on my process for puzzle solving. This time, I actually want to see if I can tell a story about uh, how I first got into doing these puzzles. These are actually one of my favorite puzzles to do in my spare time. Uh, very quickly though, I will say this is a 15 by 15. Uh, so we want to start with the biggest number first. That's 15. Perfect. Uh, how did I first get started with these? One of, one of, in, in high school, I was actually, I was actually, well, I won't even say high school. I'll say all throughout school. I was somewhat of a genius. <laughs> Humble bragging. I was somewhat of a genius when it came to. When it came to figuring things out, like teachers didn't really have to take the time to teach me stuff. Like I, I, I want to say I got it right away, but I was able to, I was able to understand. I probably should have started with this puzzle. This should have been the tutorial. <laughs> teachers didn't really have to take a lot of time to explain things out to me. Like I, I, I got it. I, I got it pretty well. I mean, just like this last puzzle. Uh, but in high school, uh, oh, oh, let me, let me be a little bit more in depth about what I mean by I got it. What I mean is like I always understood math and English or language arts and different languages and science. I hated social studies. Social studies was more about memorization than understanding. Uh, so I never I didn't do well in that. But everything else, like, I, I, I got it pretty well. I, I understood it pretty well. It didn't take too much. Like, you give me homework, I'm going to bring you back the next day with all the answers. Maybe maybe one of them wrong. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it back, and I'm going to be pretty confident in everything that I wrote down. Uh, that, that went all the way until high school. All the way until high school. And I believe this was my, let's see, I want to say, I want to say my sophomore year. Normally, let's see, one, two, three, four. Point. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Um, normally, in high school, you would take like what? What's what's your, what's the coursework you're supposed to be taking? Is algebra one your freshman year? Geometry your sophomore year? Algebra two. Give me a second. Algebra two. Your junior year, and then anything. Anything different, and any, any, you could be taking anything when it comes to uh, your senior year. Any any kind of math, your senior year. Uh, for me, they actually had me do a different program. I did algebra one. I could have been coded that. I don't know why I didn't. Algebra one, my freshman year, and then my sophomore year, my second year in high school. I actually they let me pick what I wanted to do. Because it was clear in Algebra 1 that I wasn't being tested. And then they even carried over my notes from elementary school, middle school. And they saw that I literally had no problem with anything when it came to math. So they said, okay, what, what do you want to take? You, you, you have to take geometry, but you don't have to take it right away. You don't have to take it right away. What math do you want to take? And I found something called discrete math in, in the course catalog from my high school. I found dis, uh, discrete math. In discrete, I should have started with a 15. I don't know why I didn't. Um, discrete math is it's like math. It's not really math. It's not really adding numbers, subtracting numbers, multiplying numbers, remembering formulas and things like that. It's stuff like this. It's stuff like pit cross puzzles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's puzzles like this that are discrete math. And I asked... I asked uh, the the teacher, I, I'm sorry, the administration. I asked them, "What what's discrete math?" They 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 said it, it's hard to explain, but if you want, you they're they're having a discrete math course take place right now. If you want, you can go you can go to the room, hang out there for a minute, seven, hang out there for a minute, and see if that's what you're into i said all right cool where is it they gave me they gave me which classroom it was i came in i gave them a note i said okay this uh the teeth the the one two three one two three four administration said uh they wanted me to check out this course to see if 
if I would be down to take it. She goes, okay, good. We're doing, we're doing a puzzle. I said, y'all do puzzles in here? I thought this was high school. <laughs> y'all do, I, y'all do puzzles? I was like, okay, fine. Uh, 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 I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. She said, she said, what do you mean you don't get it? I go, it's just a, it's just a big box. It's just a big box with other boxes. What is there? What is the, what, what am I, how, how is this a puzzle? I got one too many. Uh oh. Is it one of these again? Did I do this again? Hey, God. Pause that story. Pause that story. Okay, two, two, six. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. How about. Six. Eight. Problem solving. Problem solving. <laughs> okay. So I was like, y'all do puzzles? How, what is this? How, how is this? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get this puzzle. And, and the puzzle literally just, just looked like this. It just looked like. It just looked like a 15 by 15. I understand it. I go, I go, okay, I see there's numbers. I, I, I guess it's a puzzle. I see there's numbers up here. What do these numbers mean? And the teacher started explaining it the same way I did. This 10 means that there's 10 consecutive squares in this column that need to be colored in. Do you know which ones need to be colored in? I said, how am I supposed to know which ones need to be colored in? And she, and she gave me a base 10, a base 10 uh, block. Which is something you use in elementary school. I said, oh, I'm familiar with this. I know, I know what this is. I, I, we use these back in elementary school. And she goes, okay, so since this is a 10 and there are 15 squares here and you have a base 10 block, can you move this block along here so that you can figure out which ones need to be colored in? Let's see, I'm going to try to take a picture. I, I believe I have. Yeah, I have them in my, my elementary school bag over there. Uh... Uh, I have them and I'll take a picture and include that in this video uh, but can you figure out where they need to be v very shorthand a base 10 block is a math tool you use to teach kids how to count and how to regroup and things like that it's it's part of addition uh, so I was not expecting to see a base 10 block here uh, so I said I said I, I, I think I get what you're asking me you're, you're saying you're saying which of these squares in this 10 column need to be colored in and if i use this base 10 block i can put it all the way up here and see that these need to be colored in but i can also put it all the way at the bottom and see that these need to be colored in and if they have to be consecutively that means that these are colored in. she goes you you really are you really are a natural you really do get this <laughs> i said I, I mean i guess i don't understand how these work i don't understand how the the ones with the ones with more than one number, but I, I get this part, and I think I can figure that out if 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 I did this right so far. She said, "You did that right. Go to work." I said, "All right," and I and I, I tried. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Like it, it was a little bit too complex for me. I wasn't I wasn't ready to be just thrown into the fire, but I I understood that much. And that's that's kind of why, like, cause she she challenged me. She challenged me. I never really, I never really got challenged by a teacher. I, I never really had a teacher be like, so you, you think you understand this? Let's go. They 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 knew, they knew that I was already being taught stuff at home. So, uh, they they didn't even try. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it. They didn't even try. But this was this was the first teacher that had actually challenged me to to do anything. Not not just do work, but to figure out how how a, a a math problem worked just by looking at it and this was without any like any any previous knowledge of how Picross worked one two blank one two three four perfect um this is without any previous knowledge on how Picross worked I, I had not ever seen any puzzle like Picross before then and the rest is history the rest is history. I, 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 I actually actively sought out how to how, where where I could do Picross puzzles. I the the very next time that I did it was Picross DS for the Nintendo DS. Naturally, uh, that's that's why I was so comfortable doing that video because uh, the video that I posted on the channel. I mean, because I I hadn't done it in a while, but I found the game and I was like, oh, it's it's over. It's over. I finally found my way to do this, like on my own free time, on my own relaxing time. How many did I do? I just did 
four. I, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I don't. I don't want these videos to be too short. But I also don't want to like solve too many in one video. So let's let's cap it off at five. It'll be just about ten minutes, and we'll be good to go. Let's see. Give me, give me, give me, give me this one. Give me this one. The teacher was actually the teacher that uh, that challenged me to the pick Ross puzzle. She was actually oh discrete. Like I said, discrete math is is basically math that's not really math like it's a bunch of logic things it's 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 kind of like statistics you're looking at information instead of numbers one two three four five would be nine ten eleven let's go up three and then that two less two on both sides a lot of a lot of like the mumbling that i've done with tricks that i didn't explain at all is or like shorthand techniques that i've taught myself like uh, aside from aside from that day, I haven't been taught a single thing in Picross. Everything, every, in any of the logic puzzles I do, really. Aside from that day in that class, I haven't really been taught a thing. Everything is something that I picked up myself. So while it might, when when I say, when I've been explaining stuff and it's been kind of hard for me to put it into words or use the same consistent vocabulary or terms, it's because it's it's just is literally just what i'm thinking in my head so naturally i haven't i haven't uh i haven't the proper vocabulary one two three four five six seven bam let's see where's it where, where to go next i think i'm one two blank one yeah perfect perfect there's a lot of shortcuts that like you learn like Okay, so the easy let me I'll, I'll undo this one. I actually explain this shortcut because I think this one's cool. <laughs> I think this shortcut's cool. Okay, so this is a I'll, I'll even unmark this one. This is a fifteen by fifteen puzzle. Again, five, ten, fifteen, five, ten, fifteen. Uh, we know that this one's not colored in, so we can really look at this column like it's a fourteen square column. We won't even care about the rows. We'll look at this column like it's a fourteen square column. If you can add up, if you can add up the numbers that need to be in that column and add one for each gap in between. So for like example, this one would be two plus one for the for that gap and then eleven. While this one would be one plus one for a gap would be two plus two, four. Plus one for a gap, five, plus one, six, plus one for a gap, seven, plus two would be nine. If you can add these up and it equals however many squares you have consistently or con 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 consecutively, sorry, it equals how many squares you have consecutively. Again, two plus one would be three plus 11 would be 14. And we have 14 squares left. It fits in. It fits in perfectly. So this would be two, a gap of one and then 11. I think that's the coolest. I out of all the tricks that I've learned myself, I think that's the coolest because then you could just fly through. You could just fly. <laughs> it makes it so much simpler so much simpler so much simpler one two three four one two three four okay so oh wait let's leave that one long wait two blank one two three four that one there we go it makes it it makes it so much simpler like i said these are all tricks that i've taught myself one two three four five six seven two, three, four, three two not that one let's see Four here, two blank. One and one is here somewhere. Two, one, not that. Five, that. Four, that. One blank. See, did it again. Did it again. It gets tricky. Like it's, it gets hard to just glance at it when they're like this and they're small numbers, and it's a bunch of them. But you know, it it, 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 it could be done. It could be done. Just gotta train yourself. Just gotta train yourself. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 seven here. Bam. Two. Okay. That one. Not that. Not that. Those. That. That. Not that. Two. One. 
I don't think I'm pretty sure I didn't say this in the tutorial video, the one before uh, the the episode of this that I've done before. Uh, but these tricks, the, this isn't consistent only with uh, Pepper's Puzzles, the game that I'm using to play this. Uh, this is consistent with any Picross puzzle. They're consistent with any Picross puzzle. So even if you're doing this on on Picross DS for the Nintendo DS, if you're doing this with a, a website online, if you're doing it with pen and paper, all these all these tricks are consistent. So I'm I'm more just using the game as a platform to do the puzzles on the channel. Rather than it being something that can only be done with the game. Alright, so that's seven so far. That's seven in this 80 i said 80 right 10 5 here 1 2 3 4 5 six. yeah 80 that's 7 we're almost a tenth of the way done we're almost a tenth of the way done i think the next one the next video i do will just be commentary i'm sorry commentary free it'll just be the puzzles and i'll, I'll try to do I, I, I don't want to do too many with just commentary or uh, i don't know why i keep saying that i don't want to do too many that are commentary free i actually want to i actually want to talk because this is something very very calming, you know, relax. You take your time to do. We'll see. We'll see. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. If you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, we're getting closer to solving this picture. We'd love to see us solve this picture. All you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's how the subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video goes live on the channel. Or whenever I do something special. Hey guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more. Here on Alt Plan.